Ghostbusters. Well, a- um, after seeing the disappointment from a lot of people who read the books and are really into the lore, I, I have to say, like, I-, I have a new appreciation for House of the Dragon showrunner mm. Ryan Condal, because he really did, oh. Oh, yeah, no, look, look, Ryan Condal, like, <laughs> so so here's also the big difference between Lord of the Rings and and House of the Dragon. Lord of the Rings is like incredible sacred source material that people want to be that they want adapted really well. House of the Dragon is shitty source material that no one cares about. So like <laughs> So like Preston, how Ryan dare you? Con- like Fire and Blood is my favorite book. What do you mean? <laughs> right, look, Ryan Condal is doing great. Okay, he's doing fucking great. I can't believe he's he's produced a show based on that source material that's as good as it is like I, like i give him all the props all the props like it was you know like this is a lot different than like 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 D, we, we do praise D here and there um but D also had a lot of like built-in dialogue like when you watch early seasons of game of thrones and they're just lifting dialogue from the book you're like well of course that scene's gonna be fucking great you lifted that line, you know, when Tyrion's like, those are brave men. Let's kill them. You know, like you're like, oh, that's a great line because it's George R. R. Martin's line. Right. Mm-hmm. Like you don't have that with with, you know, House of the Dragon with, with like fire and blood. Like those lines all sucked. So like Ryan Condal and the writers have to come up with their own fun, their own great lines. And so when you get a line like um, Crispin, isn't it? It's like I, I can't remember, and he's like, he's like, perhaps you remember me knocking you from your horse. Like, that's that's fucking this. That's a great line <laughs> from the show and the show only, right? Like yeah. they came up with that. I like that's that a line great too. line, a you know. So it, it's 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 very different. Well, very, in, very in different. regards because the people are going to like pit the two against each other. In regards to visuals, I think Rings of Power took that. How couldn't they? I mean. Half a billion yeah, dollars, you be- half, half, oh, a, half yeah. yeah, half a billion, you better. But in terms of lore, you got to give it to House of the Dragon for sticking to it. Ryan Condal even told several of the actors, like, no, you have to pronounce the dragons' names this way. Oh, you can't sure, deviate. yeah. If if, you, if you're going if you're going accuracy to the source material, um, while making it better than the source material at the same time, paradoxically, <laughs> like you know, like Ryan Condal gets it. Like this is. Um, yeah, I mean, House of the Dragon, it's, it's, okay, CGI dragons and, and some, some pretty costumes, like, are the best part, and, but that's still not, not really great, like, compared to what we've seen in Lord of the Rings, which is all the above, right? Like, they have everything looks great, like, so. And to what you (sighs) said about, uh, this... I understand why a lot of the fans, not like random people who have never heard of Tolkien before watching those grifter videos, fans, I understand why fans of Lord of the Rings and the Silmarillion and the Hobbit, I understand why they're up in arms about this. It's because Tolkien sits on that Mount Rushmore of fantasy writers. He's number one on there, regardless, you know? Yeah, um, yeah. And He is the George Washington. Right? Yeah. and he invented He invented it all. Uh, yeah. Well, everything that we ever love in fantasy, which are Ice and Fire, like Warhammer fantasy, like there's driplets of that from Lord of the Rings. And anything mm-hmm. less of perfection is an insult. It, like it has to be a yeah. 10 out of 10 no matter what. If it's even a 9 out of 10, it's not good enough. Yeah. So yeah. I kind of understand. Oh, yeah, I, I get it. I get it. There's nothing like there's nothing like Lord of the Rings. Um I mean, and it was so influential that everything else is still just copying it, you know? Uh, so, yeah, like inventing, inventing, like just these little things like, like, okay, like the concept of an elf or the concept of a dwarf um, is, is like so ingrained in us, like that, that you know ra- rather than being like keebler elves like you know like yeah there's that concept of an elf but i'm talking about any other concept of an elf where you're thinking of an elf being a a nearly adult sized like being um that's that's tolkien you know like and any concept of like a dwarf outside of like again like some sort of small magical creature like is 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 him as well so it's just uh it, yeah and god 
just inventing fantasy, inventing fantasy, essentially. Uh, but yeah. So, uh, you know, I, what can you do? Consider, considering the big shoes they had to fill, um, you know... It's a job I don't they, envy. They, they did great. It's a job. Like, I always, in my in my head, yeah. I always have the same fantasy of, damn, I wish I was in the Game of Thrones, like, writer room. Or, damn, I wish I was yeah, in, like, yeah. the Witcher writer room so I could, like, you know, put these ideas in there. I do not wish I was in, <laughs> I do not, I don't no, want to get no. in this No, I mean, room. and that's the thing is, like, so so people, people do this all the time with, like, sports. Like, if you were the coach, like, would you be able to do, would you be able to run better plays, you know? Would you be able to do their job? Um like I couldn't do what Ryan Condal is doing like with, with, with house of the dragon. Like there's no way I could like adapt the material as well as, as, as he's adapted it. When, when, when you say like, what about later seasons of game of Thrones? I'd be like, yeah, I think I probably could have done better than like D and D like granted, granted there's maybe a lot of like industry stuff and like coordination or something that they might be doing that I don't know about. Sure. But like pop me in a writer's room and like, um, I, I, yeah, I feel like I could do better than D and D on the on the on the last few seasons of Game of Thrones, um, or at least know who to hire. There were people in our know? comment section coming up with better ideas of how to do things than Dave and Dan did in the last season of Game of Thrones. Right. So, uh, 